ever wondered what Mexicans think of Americans or gringos in general? And how not to be perceived in a negative way when you're traveling and considered a gringo? I say we ask. Good morning, sunshine. If you're new to me, hi, my name is Karen. And my daughters and I have been traveling full time for five years using Mexico as our home base for the past two because Mexico is gorgeous and there's so much to see and learn and so many cultural elements for my daughters to learn from. So every time I do videos about living in Mexico, I get comments like this. Being that they're not always relatable to my content, I assume that it's advice for gringos. I have to say that sometimes I feel like there's a big cultural divide because what's like. in one culture is not in another. When I first got here, I was staying in a two apartment building and it had a pool. I was staying upstairs and the people that were staying downstairs went in the pool and had a party or several parties because this carried on from day to day to day and it would stay up until like three, four in the morning, music, etc. Now, they were college kids. The way my mind works, I assumed that maybe they didn't know I was staying there too. Downstairs, I think I was eating a zapote. And as I'm eating the zapote, I'm like, hey, do you guys know that I'm staying here too? No, why? And I'm like, because you guys are being very loud. And their response was, well, if that's how you feel, I found it totally weird. Didn't quite grasp it at the moment. The longer I stayed in Mexico, the more it made sense. Culturally, partying and celebrating and loud music and just plain happiness is respected here by others. Even if they feel uncomfortable, even if they're trying to sleep. The area that I live, goetes or loud music or even big bands playing at all kinds of hours. Six in the morning, five in the morning, three in the morning. It's just part of life. The scenario of being respectful is accommodating to it. Now, not all comments are constructive. I also get a lot of these. And let's be real, those hit different. I promise I would be authentic and I have to say that as an immigrant, it was so triggering. I first immigrated to the United States from Venezuela when I was 10 years old. And I was so hated and mistreated and People are just plain mean. Let's be honest. Now as a grown up, I can merit some of it to not understanding each other's cultures. I didn't understand the tone in which they spoke to me and they had no idea what I was saying because I didn't speak any English. So when I decided to live in Mexico as an immigrant, I made sure that I always asked if I was misunderstanding what they were trying to express. Knowing the language was so helpful though. But one of the things I have to say is that in Mexico, I always felt welcome. I always felt like people were happy to see me and get to know me and, you know, <laughs> they were open in having two cultures merge and it felt nice. I had never really felt that before. And it just made me a little teary-eyed for sure, in a good way. I, Mexico is a big place in my heart. One of the things that I kept hearing, whew, I'm out of breath, <laughs> as I kept talking to the locals, about immigration in general, especially when we're, we were having a big influence from Haiti and my home country of Venezuela. I would ask everybody that I saw how they felt about immigration and they always responded, the sun shines for everybody. And I loved that, I loved it so much. And despite these new comments that I received, to me that would always be the Mexican welcome I received. Let me catch my breath. <laughs> so even though we now know that some Mexicans feel like this, we also have some Mexicans that feel like this.
Now let's go have some in person. So I had a pre-scheduled lunch date with a friend of mine that I met when I first moved to San Cristobal. She was born and raised here, has indigenous grandparents, and went to college to be an English teacher. So I thought she'd be a good person to ask. Now, she is a homeowner and rents out an apartment within her home and happens to have rented to foreigners. So I thought that was a perfect topic to discuss. And one of the things that she pointed out like she did share amazing experiences but she also shared how sometimes the foreign renters expect a lot more than local renters do and this is because culturally in the united states for example the homeowner usually takes care of a lot of things when you're renting a home in mexico it's a little bit different so i think it's something that's hard for foreigners to acclimate to and therefore she found it hard sometimes when you run to foreigners because they always need something. And she's a super single mom with a disability, so sometimes it's just inconvenient to have to constantly take care of somebody's needs that are beyond the scope of what comes along with renting a house here in Mexico. So there's a English class that I volunteered to help them practice English. And I thought I'd take it with me. And their homework happens to be, what do you think of Americans or gringos in general? Hello, Karen. Hello. How are you? Hello. They were so nervous before <laughs> this, but they did so good. I think foreigners here in San Cristobal are friendly and try to adapt to the environment. They are friendly because they try to interact with more people. In my experience, I have tried to communicate with friends, uh, but, it, but it is difficult for me because I cannot understand. But they are passionate uh, to understand what I mean. <laughs> okay. I think that they are friendly because they try to interact with more people. In my experience, I have tried to they are very friendly, uh, they speak even a uh, little Spanish, they will talk to you. At work, they are very strict and punctual. They have always given me a very respectful and friendly treatment. But I think about foreign people, they are sometimes a foul and open mind. They are always shocked about our tradition or culture, but they are frequently stingy about buying local stuff they think are not worth it. Her experience is that foreigners sometimes will not buy something because they perceive it as expensive for Mexico specifically. That does happen here often. They are cool, although some very serious. I have liked them, but I have not lived much with them. I am fan of the volleyball girls. On the other hand, boys, I think they are very handsome. She's a big fan of the volleyball girls and thinks the boys are handsome. The next two didn't want to show their full face because they were so nervous. I consider foreign people are interesting and I suppose due to the education they receive at home some people are friendly and other are not so much which is respect. Uh, also I consider they have quite an interest culture. Finally something I don't like about them is that they have a lot of freedom with Weapons, since I've seen the news about how sometimes they are shooting at the school by children who play video games. Uh, they are, they want maybe just to show off it for other reasons. She merits gun violence in the United States to video games and people wanted to show off. En, um, aquí en México hay tiroteos en las escuelas. No, en las escuelas no, pero en las calles sí. En mi opinión, 
hygienic, Americans and friendly, and good and conversation. They have many anecdotes to share, and I'm curious. That has been my experience with those I have spoken. Some negatives are that some think they are better than Latinos, Africans, or certain people. Some can be very homophobic and racist. I also think they are not careful about queen links. I like those Americans who are kind, respectful, and fun. Personally, they have treated me well. Um, ¿Te puedo hacer una pregunta? Eh, ¿Qué quiere decir que no tienen cuidado con limpieza? Ah, bueno, personalmente en donde yo vivo, los extranjeros que están ahí siempre dejan muy muy sucio la cocina o no lavan muy bien los sartenes, no lavan, no lavan bien los platos, a veces no le bajan a la palanca del baño. Entonces yo con los que he convivido con ellos, pues me han dado como esa visión de que no son muy cuidadosos. This is our wonderful teacher, Martin, and we're gonna ask him the same question because we need to know. <laughs> okay, very good. In my experience, I think foreign people, it can be, for example, nice people, polite, gentle, actually, but some of them are cruel and heartless because they're racist, especially with Latinos. So then they try to make them feel less about feelings and they feel superior and they think they are the owners of the world So then, I think this is not going to be a good thing. So then, since we all are Americans and they called it themselves as American, so then they forget about uh, Brazilians, Argentinians, Mexicans are Americans. So then, I think it's not a good thing. And then, especially when they try to create movies, they think save the world, it save United States. So then, I think this is not a correct thing. You know? ¿Alguien ha ido a los Estados Unidos? ¿Sí? No. ¿Sos solo tú? ¿Y qué te pareció? Fue una experiencia aterradora al principio porque crucé a San Diego, California, caminando, pero en la aduana fue ver que eran demasiado racistas con los latinos que estaban cruzando. Ok, dímelo. ¿Ahí hay qué? En Estados Unidos, en San Diego, California, a mí me tocó ver muchos indigentes que andaban con los carritos de supermercado y ahí llevaban toda su ropa, su comida, su, lo que es, sus utensilios básicos y que se quedaban a dormir debajo de los puentes. ¿Y aquí no hay eso? Un poco más discreto tal vez o en ciertas zonas más oscuras, pero ahí era muy fácil localizar a las personas que eran indigentes porque iban con su carrito y buscando las sobras de comida que alguien más estaba dejando. It was pretty incredible to see their perspectives, um, especially having visited the United States and experiencing the racism and experiencing the homelessness. I thought that was really interesting, especially coming from somebody that was not trying to immigrate. They were just visiting for a conference. She's a doctor, so she was going to a doctor's conference. They're such a wonderful group. I think I learned more from them than they do from me. And after class, we had like a Q&A to get to know each other. And they did share that a lot of them are not learning English for anything related to the United States. It's either to teach or travel. I feel like learning English opens up more possibilities to explore the world. So I'm sure this video is not going to change anything as far as people's perspectives. I just hope it helps everybody have a little bit of an open mind. I think the most important lesson I got from all of this was respect. And the richness and culture to better educate my children on what there is to be learned from the world. Thank you so much for watching. Love you. Bye.